all right welcome back to Kim's lab IT console this lab you're going to be seeing how to set a password on your Windows account so irrespective of the uh, operating system you are using be it Windows 8 Windows 7 Windows 10 or even Windows 11 this approach works for all so we're going to use this approach to assign or even create a new user account and then set password for it or you can also set a password for a, an existing account so let's see how to do that so what i have to do i, I can click on the start button and i can see the user account that i have in there is called test so i can work on that but what you want to do we don't want to use this that method so we're going to use a simplest method that works on all the windows platforms that you know xp windows 7 windows 10 and even windows 11 or as well as windows 8 so i'm going to launch I'm going to click on the start button which this is the start button i'm going to click that on my keyboard and then i'll add r to it so start button plus r gives me what we call run and i'm going to input mnc in the which stands for microsoft management console so i'm just going to launch that and it gives me this prompt so that is the mmc microsoft management console just accept it by clicking on yes it gives us this menu and then what i'm going to do now is i'm going to click on far then I'll scroll down and select add or remove snapping. Once it appears, look through the options. So these are all the items that are found within here. So I'm going to scroll down. Then I'm going to locate this option called local users and computers. That's where we manage users as well as groups. So we're going to be able to manage your user from this end. So I'm going to select this option. Then I click on add. Then it will prompt that is it on this local machine? Yes, this computer running here. So I'm going to finish it out and it appears here then I can go ahead to select OK. Now once I do that then you can see local users and groups. So I'm just going to double click on this and I can have my users and I have groups. We are dealing with users. I'm going to double click on this and you can see the user account I showed you earlier. You saw it as what? Test from here. So that is it. So if I want to set a password for it, I just have to select it right here. Right click on it and choose set password. Then uh, just it says are you logged in as test if that is the case you have chosen to reset the password yes i want to do that so i'm going to click on yes and then i'll choose the password i want to set for this machine so i'm going to put my password there and then and then confirm it once done click on ok and then it tells you that the password has been set so that is how to set a password on any windows system i can create a new user account by right click on new we just right click and you choose so you right click on an empty area here right click on it and choose new user now give in the account name so already we have only one user account the only day is going to have it's going to display multiple user accounts so i'm going to create this user account called test 2 or test 3 we already have test so let's call it test 2 and I'm going to give it a name. I can leave it as blank and I'm going to set a password as and then you leave it that the user must change password. You can decide to uncheck it right here and then it says that password never expires. So that one depends on you. So I'm going to go for password whenever I expire. So the user is always going to be using the same password I've given out. I'm going to create this and it has been created. In order to see the user account created, just close out this interface and you should see the user there. So you can see I've created another user called what? Test2. So that is how to create a user account or set a password for your existing user account. Now let's check it out now. If I click on the start button, now you can see I have another user right here. I can click on that user and then I'll be able to, uh, to log in to that particular uh, user. So you can see. I need to provide a password for that particular user then I'll be able to add, log in. Check from this end the first user account that was there, the existing one. Previously we had test and I added one more. So let me just click on that one too. That one too is asking for password. I didn't need to provide my password and then I'll be able to add, to log in. So right when I provided my password I was able to add, log in to my account. So this is how to create a user account for any Windows system at all that you are running by issuing what the MMC management console so if you just type MMC you'll be able to uh, to manage your user accounts so I hope this video was useful see you in the next video